Hi, my name is Maura Thomas from RegainYourTime.com and I get a lot of questions about the contacts field in Outlook and so I wanted to spend a little time showing you some things about the contacts that you might not know. So the first thing that I would suggest that you do is go to Tools, go to Options, and select Contact Options and then select show contact linking on all forms and then do OK and I'm going to show you why that's important you need that in Outlook 2007 but in Outlook 2003 this was a default field so if you're using 03 you don't have to worry about this but in 07 that's what we want to do first okay now back to contacts so let's say that you're in contacts and here's your um, new contact that you're adding so you put in all the information the first name the company etc etc and a lot of people think that this these fields are the ones that they are limited to and actually you have quite a lot more fields available to you so the first thing that you may not be using is the picture and I really like the picture fields because this helps me to associate names with faces a little bit better when I get an email with somebody or if I'm going to go have a meeting with somebody who I haven't seen in a long time this picture field really helps and sometimes I just take their picture off the internet a lot of people have their pictures on the internet these days so you can just save the picture from the web and insert it here and all you have to do is click here on this picture field and then just navigate to wherever you've saved the picture okay so that's the first thing then you have all your basic fields. The next thing I want to call your attention to is up here you have some additional tabs and in Outlook 2003 the tabs appear at the top of the screen as well just a little bit of, instead of being in the show box they just appear as tabs. We're not going to spend any time on certificates because I don't think that that's as helpful but let's check out details. <clears throat> the details field gives you all kinds of extra fields that you may not have known that you had available to you. The one that I like the most is the birthday. And if you go in and put in the person's birthday, let's say that it's April 7th like I have here, change the, um, it will put in the default, the year that it is. So if you change the year, what you want to do is change the year to any year before this year. If you know the year that they were born, that's great. You can put that year. If you don't know, you can just put in any year before this one. So here I've selected 2008. When I do save and close, and then I go to my calendar, and I go to April 7th, you'll see here that the birthday appears as an event on my calendar. So I think that's really helpful, and a lot of people aren't using that. So that is the field that I like the most in this details section. You can also put their spouse's name which is kinda nice and some other details that you have about them. The next tab that you may not have noticed is the activities tab and that's why I had you go and select that show contacts field. Let me show you what the activities tab does. So I'm gonna close out of here for a minute. I'm gonna go to calendar and I'm gonna make an appointment and I'm gonna say meeting with Mara. I'm gonna pretend for a minute that I'm not Mara. And then down here because I said show contact field on all forms now I have this contact field down at the bottom. So I click on contacts and I select myself and then I save and close if I had a meeting with myself. I could associate myself with the meeting, save and close. Now when I go back to the contacts and I double click on that contact and I select activities, what it's going to show me is not only everything in my calendar that I've associated with that contact, but also any task that I have associated with that contact, or any email that that contact has sent me or I've sent to them. And the first time you do it, if you have a lot of information, you're going to see that little um, magnifying glass while it searches and it's going to populate this field and it's going to take a few minutes. But then you save and close and then the next time you go into that contact, it's going to show you only the new, it'll have all the stuff that you did before and it'll show you then 
all of the new stuff that you've added since. So that's really handy. A lot of people who use ACT and, and tools like that think that they can't associate appointments and things with a contact, but actually you can using this Activities tab. You just have to remember to associate the contact with the calendar appointment or with the task. And then the next field that you might find helpful, in if you click on all fields, this gives you the ability to add custom fields. And you see I've added Twitter because Twitter doesn't, uh, there's no Outlook 2007 doesn't yet have a Twitter address and or a Skype address or those kind of things and maybe you want to have those. You could customize these here if you want to. You could select other or something but if you want some custom fields you can use this all fields tab. You go to new and you type whatever you want to call it. Skype for example. It's text and then you select OK and then this gives you the ability to put in there Skype username whatever it is. So all fields is helpful for that. And then let's say if you're looking at the business card view, you're limited as to the um, as to the items that you can see at a glance. But if you select the detailed address cards, that gives you more fields. And if you still don't see those user defined fields, all you have to do is select detailed address cards and then go to customize current view and click on fields and that gives you the ability to select the fields that you want showing and if your custom designed fields aren't showing then you just have to select down here where it says select available fields from and scroll down to user defined fields and that's where it gives you the other fields that you can add. You see I've already added Twitter and you can add Skype if you want and then do OK and then do OK and then when you look at your detailed address card view you see the Skype address and the Twitter address and any other user defined fields that that you've made. And this might be a lot of information for you to see. You might just like the business card view and then if you do need some of that other information you can always just go to find it easily. So those are some fields a lot of people don't know about. So I hope this has been helpful. Please visit my website at regainyourtime.com for more tips and also um, you can get to my blog from there where I put lots and lots of um, articles about being more productive. So thanks for listening.